Hola guys, welcome back to CC's Law. So, today we are going to be playing Forza and we are going to be driving the Q50. Now, I know, I know it says Steve the Gamer on here, but we was not going to start a new account, hunty. So, we're going to make it put it all you heard. Um, a lot of times when you play these type of games, we have to like start from scratch and we don't got no cars and honey i am cheap okay if y'all ever see somebody who is like very tight with their money who, who very tight with their money it's me child <laughs> and it's mainly just because i grew up so poor you know what i mean like okay come on all right break break okay this is nothing like driving in real life at all. Like, I really thought that I was going to get behind this wheel and I was going to be able to really just punch it like how I'd, I'd be pushing my G-Wagon. But it is nothing like that. But all right, yeah, so we are playing, we're playing Forza. <laughs> all right, girl, use your brake, use your brake. Shout out to Thrustmaster. You know, we're gonna be using the wheel. I'm trying to get used to the wheel. This is my very first time ever using the um, using the wheel to drive. And I thought that it was gonna be a lot easier <laughs> than it is. I've seen Steve play this so many times. 400 yards. I've seen Steve Turn play left. this so many times and I'm just like, man, I can do that with my eyes closed. What you doing over there? Why are you crashing? You know, just being the typical passenger seat driver and whatnot, but it's a lot harder than it looks. I promise you guys. Um, the wheel is... That was definitely the brake. I thought I was pressing the gas. <laughs> the wheel is very taut, so it, it doesn't allow you to just move as freely, which, you know, maybe if the wheel was taut on my last Mercedes, I wouldn't crash it. <laughs> okay, tasteless jokes, tasteless jokes. <laughs> Oh, I'm a wrecking ball. I came in like a wrecking ball. Let's do some donuts. Hold on, let me change the view. Donuts! In 100 yards, turn left. Watch out. I want to do that so bad in real life, though. You guys have no idea. Steve won't allow me to do it because he's like, you're going to hurt yourself, blah, blah, blah. He's so, he's such a dad sometimes. I appreciate them though. You know, like when somebody really cares about you and looks out for your safety because you're reckless, you know, you gotta, you gotta appreciate those types, you know? Shout out to Steve. Um, anyways, <laughs> so this is the Q50 that we're driving. And the only reason why we're driving this car is because this was my second car. My very first car, well, this, this wasn't my second car. My the second car was, um, was the Infiniti. M35 X and X makes a difference because you know 10 toes down okay it was out here in the snow handling business but on this on this uh, Q50 it drives pretty smooth my best friend Nate exit. he actually has a, Q, a Q60 sport edition I think and when I tell you baby it gets up it gets up okay I think I'm doing all right. What y'all think? I think I'm doing a decent job. Destination. I know that y'all are probably like, first of all, you cannot just come back and just act like nothing ever happened. It has been months since I played and I just came back in like, oh yeah, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> you know, that's kind of just how I do in real life sometimes too, you know. I don't like to talk about the things that be going on. <laughs> Turn the wheel! Turn the wheel! Oh, oh, come on. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. Simone B boys, we got this. <laughs> so yeah, um, I know that I haven't been back here for a while, but you guys, you know, it's like one of those things. Oh, okay. We're back. So it's like one of those oh, oh! I avoided you. Yeah, yeah, you avoid me. I don't avoid you. You heard? <laughs> so, 
It's like one of those things, you know, like, I don't, I'm not one to talk about feelings and why I was sad. I like to make jokes. And nowadays, people are so sensitive. They're just so sensitive, myself included, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not even going to sit here and hold y'all. You know, I've become a little sensitive Sally. And mainly just because, mainly because I... I've been like really tapping into my emotions and like trying to figure out what is wrong with me and I didn't think that there was anything wrong with me and so my friends was like, why are you just so cold? And I'm like, I'm not cold, you cold. What the hell? Put on a sweater. I've realized though, you know, like if you care about your loved ones, friends, family or whatever, you know, like just go ahead and make sure that you that you're tapping into your feelings and emotions every once in a while. Not on some like you know, I gotta be in my bag all the time. But like, just sometimes it's nice to be able to see the perspective of the other people, of other people, where they're coming from and what they're going through in your life. Because a lot of times we get so caught up in our own emotions that like we forget that other people are going through things too. You know, and I am a firm believer about you know just making sure that all the people around me are good sometimes to a fault most times it's to a fault <laughs> for real for real because i care about other people's feelings more than i do sometimes myself but you know i'm learning how to be more selfish and tapping into my own thing you know what i mean but at the end of the day you know we're all just humans just trying to figure out life together for real for real and i say all of this to say because right now i am so jonesing i'm saying all this to say it ain't a bad thing sometimes to just kind of be in your bag, tap into your emotions, figure out what the hell is wrong with you, what's wrong, what's going on in this world, and like, you know, just not be sensitive to it, just be aware. Ain't nothing wrong with being aware, you know? Self-awareness is a real thing out here, and a lot of people aren't aware of themselves, and because I'm so aware of myself and like what I say and how I am, I don't be trying to offend nobody, so I took a little break, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. I just I took a nice break, went on a couple vacations, was going through a couple of training programs. I can't tell y'all for what yet, but yeah, you know, I'm just out here doing real life things. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, why is the wheel moving for me? Stop moving, wheel. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know that y'all like my nails look like a 12 year old boy's head, but I had long nails on for a long time. And I'm a tomboy, y'all. Like, I like the slap box, I like the play fight. Um, I'm very rough. I cook all the time. My nails just kept breaking. I've gone to multiple nail salons, and I thought that, you know, if I keep getting my nails done, you know, it'd be. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Um, I thought if I keep getting my nails done that, you know, I'll be all right. It was like, all right, cool. But $100 every week? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, I'm just, I'm not that girl. I don't like to wear makeup. I don't like getting my nails done. I like to wear heels, but I like wearing wear sweatpants at the same time. You know, like, yeah, times have change. Times have change. People can be what they want, do what they want. And that's what I'll be doing. CC slot. I do what I want. All right, shout out to Thrustmaster because this is a lot harder than I thought that this was going to be. But I'm really excited to keep playing these type of games. And let me know, do y'all like this? Do y'all like seeing me drive? This is my way of practicing because when I get on GTA, I'm gonna have to really, I really have to get my life together. But driving is therapeutic for me. Playing video games is very therapeutic for me. And now I'm back recording you all, so we live, we in here. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more of these type of episodes, if you want to see me post more, like tell me, y'all got to keep in contact with me. I keep in contact with you, baby. All right, we out. We out, y'all. We out. <laughs> I think I'm done, y'all. I think I'm. Ooh, hey, car came out of nowhere. I think I'm done, y'all. I think that this was a good first, this first time run, and maybe we'll try 
we'll try something a little different another time thank you guys so much for watching subscribing make sure y'all hit that comment i mean that comment make sure i hit the comment box up like the button share the video share with your friends peace out forza on live will begin soon good luck Thank you guys so much for watching and liking this video. If you don't want to miss any of my crazy videos, just click on that bell hoo dingy and be a part of my notification gang. And of course, don't be shy. Tell me what's your favorite part in the comments so we can all be hashtag petty about it. Don't forget to stalk me.